What's up, my Koops Coops, and welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We're looking over here in the top right, noticing some Wiimotes. There's a Game Boy uh, backwards facing us. We got a Famicom, uh, the special Wii. Over here's the N64 logo. You can see that right there, all the colors. Yeah, there's a lot of little hidden references over here. Obviously, the GameCube. In 64. Um, what's the eyeballs? There's also a Wii right there. You can see that in the middle of the screen. Kind of hiding, poking its, its face out. Oh, there's one of those Game Boy Micros, isn't it, right there? I actually did not own one of those. I owned a lot of the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy SP, uh, color, that type of thing. But I didn't own one of those. I think it's called the Game Boy Micro. Pretty cool. It's a little fun, fun little area they drew around here. Anyways, back to the action. Let's go uh, fight Kyle Hyde. The stage is covered in fog. Well, we can do fog immunity. So no more fog. Let's get that out of here. Get that junk out of here. I can't see anything. Sorry, Kyle Hyde. Ready? Go. Oh, definitely didn't want this stage covered in fog. <laughs> that one hurt. I am out of ink. No, I wanted that. I'm so slow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was bad. <laughs> I did such a good start. Dropped him up to, or brought him up to like 25% HP just from jabs. And then flubbed the rest of it. See if we can have a better showing this time around. No, I'm getting that this time. Or not. Dang it, I over jumped it. That was so bad of me. Whamped. <laughs> well, thank you, Kyle Hyde, for the skill spears. Appreciate it very much. That opens up a couple new pathways for us. We can go clear out the fog. Can't go this way yet. We can't go down and get a treasure chest. Detective Pikachu! The movie's out. The reviews are in. And we're getting our own Detective Pikachu right here. Surprised I didn't use the actual model from the uh, Ready? movie. Go! Might look a little weird. I have a Franklin badge equipped for my primary spirit and a back shield. Is that, a little, that seems a little overkill. Well, not anymore, because my Franklin badge dropped off, but... to kill the main one gives us fog immunity okay don't really need that we already have it but we got detective Pikachu which is cool and 
And the treasure chest will give us Luigi's cap. Put it back where it came from. And there's a little, uh, there's a little mouse there from the NES mouse. Is that what it was? Where the, from the painting one? I don't remember exactly what it's for. I can't go down that way. At least not yet. I think I have to go all the way around here. Let's clear out the bottom half here. Infinite's up first. The screen will suddenly flip after a while. Yeah, okay, no thanks. Let's not do that. Metal Sonic. Ready? Go! The go right there is like right over top of what I want to see. Uh, where the fighters were. It's an HP battle, which I just noticed again, as usual. Now, screen flip here would be awful. Really glad I'm not dealing with that. Victory! This is definitely one I would not want the screen to be flipping around on me. That'd be very confusing. But luckily, it wasn't a too hard of a fight. And got infinite. Don't fall into the racetrack. It hurts. Ooh, Paulina Legend. Defeat the main fire to win. You've reduced jump power, reinforcements appear in the bow. I've done this one on Spirit Board. It was awful. Absolutely awful. I actually don't want the bunny. Like, this is okay. I do not want the bunny hood. I want to, like, this fight's really tough because you kind of have to gimp it. Oh, you know what? We can gimp it. I actually have a good idea for gimping it. You have to defeat Peach, who runs around. At least for me, it was really tough. I don't actually, I'm thinking a lot of you guys probably have no problem with it, but. Uh, you have Peach running around, and you have Mario and Donkey Kong trying to kill you, and they get in your way all the time. And the platforms just make it really hard to get around in this one. Additional minute jump would actually be. No, I need three slots, though. Strong throw is fine. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go actually pick a favorite, which should be at the top here, and I need an ore club is what we're gonna do. Where is my ore club? Should be a three slot. Do I not have that favorited? Dumb of me, I don't have it favorited. I, I, Ore Club's one of the ones that you just randomly need it for some of these things. Ah, uh, here, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and favorite that as well. Yeah, it works for me. Okay, so we're gonna want Ore Club equipped. We'll see if this works out like I'm hoping it does. The idea is to stand down here. Peach actually doesn't care unless you get close to her. And she tries to care. With the Oracle, I'm going to try to kill her from pretty much afar. Did I even hit Peach there? Yeah, I did there. Oh, there's my work club. I think he almost died. Well, my strategy didn't work out. So now we need to go try to gimp Peach here. If she could kill herself, it'd be great. Oh, she didn't. Oh, there's a platform down there? I can't even see that. Promise, you have lower jump. You know what? I really shouldn't have used uh, Kirby. Not ideal. Okay, well, let's give this another try. This is actually. I hate this one. At least I have unlimited tries. Normally in Spirit Board you have three tries and then it goes away. So I'm gonna grab Donkey Kong. I, the Ore Club looked really terrible there. I'm gonna try it again because I feel like when I used it before in um, Spirit Board, this is actually what gave me the win. I wasted a lot of time to start here like trying to jump. I didn't remember that. I didn't realize I had reduced jump power. 
Does that hit? That... So you can see Peach actually is just standing there kind of taking this damage. But it didn't work as well as I had hoped. Now I need to... Oh gosh, this died. I was like, Ugh. Then you need to kind of gimp her or something. I... I doing damage from afar. Last time, I think maybe she kind of just fell off and died or something. I'm going to try this again. Ready? Mario, Go! I feel like I should be able to... Maybe I can just clap him right there when he falls down. I couldn't actually drop down there. Oh, and then that would have been really nice to get. Now I'm really screwed. It's going to waste so much time for me. And there's no way I can kill Peach during this. I really need to get that other one up there. They can just hit me up there. Perfect. Thank you. Hopefully I can with this. Wow, that did nothing. You know, I probably should have done more damage to her and then use my final, my smash attack on her. Ah, we failed again. It's gonna die. So I can get some damage with that ore club, but. The idea is like you hit her with the ore club a couple times, then maybe I gimp her once. Once I get like her 40% or something like that. She's just so hard because she can float and she just stays out of your way. And DK and Mario over there just make your life miserable. Ready? I'm not. Go! No, stop with the freaking fire! Peach that 90. She dodged. And I whiffed. That's probably it right there. Oh, we got it! <laughs> got her. I hit her with my hammer, my hand once. Finished her off. Is that the best strategy? I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, I never dealt with Mario or DK that well. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to just kill Peach. I think once the slowdown comes, you can grab that. It's relatively easier to do it. I still whiffed, which would have killed her there, too. So, luckily, we ended up finishing it off, though. Oh, what a miserable... I hate that challenge. I hated Pauline in Spirit Board. But got her this time. 
other thing in Spirit Board 2, I was doing a lot of it co-op, and so with Enob there, with two players, they do make the enemies harder. However, two players, you can actually do a lot more. You know, I could go, I could use the Orc Club, he could use the Orc Club. Get her at a lot higher percentage quickly. Let's press the button. It, uh, it's a shortcut. Oh, but that's not, that's new area for us. Oh, and that leads us back to uh, main path. Convenient little switch right there. Did a lot of things for us. Sebastian Toot! This actually is a Franklin badge guy, so it's kind of cool to get. Don't need two of them though, we already have Franklin badges. Once you got one, you got them all. Some things you can stack up, other ones you can't. Well, if there's two or three slots, obviously you can't stack that. Oh wait, this would have, wait, if I had the Franklin badge here already, that would have been so nice. Woo, I was a little close there to dying, actually. Nah, I'm dead now. Unless they save me, hit me. Now nah, I'm dead. We can just rematch that, though. If I already have the Franklin badge, this first Pokemon will do nothing to you. But I also fought that really terribly, so. Ready? Go! Oh, this guy's got stuff to throw, too, so... I know you only have to kill the primary one, but we're gonna get rid of the me brawler as well. Get that dude out of here. Smashing toots now ours. Couple more skill spears. Still a long ways off <sighs> from our 130. These are so expensive. One other thing on the spirit board I noticed as well is the uh, hyper, the quicker smash, final smash meter, and then double final smash. That's not a chance, that is guaranteed double final smash. That is super, super good. Um, however, I, I'm still gonna go with my smash route. I think it's kind of fun. Try to finish off console city. We got twin tail Speed up is fine. Let's switch up our fighter. I like DK a lot. And I'll probably be using him a lot So I'm trying to keep it relatively fresh by using a decent number of guys and gals as a fighters I think once we unlock Ike, that's pretty much all I'm going to be using. <laughs> I, I, I like Ike a lot. Or Gandorf. Gandorf's a lot of fun, too. Ready? Go! Yeah, I'm just going to jump over that. I'm not going to deal with that drill. Oh, she jump off me? Well played. I went out there for the A neutral and fell fast. I fell a lot faster than I expected, honestly. Treasure changes based on the number of explorers, their ranks, levels, conditions, and even their style. So maybe if I throw a bunch of good guys, it will go better. That was actually really close. What? I did not get that counter off? <clears throat> really weird. Well, if my B's not working. <laughs> if nothing works! Twin Tail's now ours. Air defense is up. It's ra kind of random. Some enemies, I guess, would fight more in the air, and that could be good. Almost on the console city. I think these last we'll do these last two fights and then console city will be done. Dangerously high winds are in effect. 
Um, we can actually get wind immunity. There we go. We need at least two slots, though, for that. Strong wind is actually one of the most annoying conditions, in my opinion. Some fighters literally cannot do anything with it. A lot of the swordsmen, even with, like, bad recovery, which is a lot of, actually, a lot of characters. Like, Luigi here, in a strong wind, could not recover. Once you knock him off, he just doesn't make it back. I see these guys are all having a lot of fun. I, I hate to like take away their fun. Whoa. Whoa, he actually hit me there. That's real bad. Come on! I thought they would I thought they'd flinch with that B up. I knew I was going too high, but I thought they'd flinch. Man, I'm pretty playing pretty terrible today. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. It happens. We're not always at our A game. I'm never at my A game. I'm like at, like at a C or D level Ready? game always. Go. If you guys can use these things, so can I. He went through that one. Just beat him out of here. You guys want these so badly? Have them. Stab that little kid with the sword. Get him. Get him, Marth. Aura attack. Yama increases the power of Lucario's aura attacks. It's very specific. Only Lucario. Not even Mewtwo. I don't really like that. I don't like that there's individual specific ones. Or if there was, I wish every character had specific ones. Because Ness and Lucas get a lot. Lucario gets a ton. It's like, hey, come on. Roger the Potted Ghost. Have I ever done this? I've never done this. This is unique. You can see at the top left there where it says advanced, there's no little green check mark. Uh, that would tell us if we've done that before. This did not sound familiar to me, so that's why I even said something about it. Hi, gravity. We're going to get rid of gravity. Defeat the main fire to win. So ignore the others if you need to. Ready? Go! That's an HP battle. I'm always going to stand there. This guy just gonna continue standing there. Yeah, I guess it's Roger the Potted Ghost. He's dancing a little bit. One HP, huh? There you go. <laughs> so I guess he had some defensive guards, but it didn't work out. Strong wind resist, not very useful. I mean, it's okay, but once you have strong wind immunity, there's no point in putting two resists on because one immunity is better than. I guess you could do one resist if you wanted to and not move as much, and that would be okay to save yourself a slot. That works all right. But that was a new character for us. And that actually should be all of Console City. D-pad building. I'm happy with that. We got all through the, all of that area. Let's see, that takes us back to the main area. We still can't go either north or east, but now we should be able to go yeah, now we could go down and unlock that character. And I think also we could come from down here probably and likely come up this way and eventually unlock the other character. The bridge we can actually accomplish. Hey, so it's looking good. Um, if we take a look at our full map here, we have a couple areas we can now uh, get up to. We could go up here to this rainbow area. There's a little, bu little bit of things up this way to do and a bridge and a fighter and some things. So... That could be decent. We also have a lot of stuff over here to the left. 
that we can now do. Especially with our bus taking us someplace. Pretty excited. So the left half of the map is getting pretty close to done. When we come back next time, we'll figure out somewhere to go and continue having fun on our Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Adventure. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Go ahead and crunch off that like button. Until next time, GG!